Okay, so in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a signature using an image and removing the background, saving it. You can save your image back out and reuse it later on, but you can also save it within Word and, and use it as a um, something that you can uh, regularly import in. So I'll go through those steps. Firstly, I already have a file that I've created, so I've actually got a signature. I've used a black pen and I have put it on white paper. It has been scanned. Uh, so I already have that in file. You can do the same thing by either taking a photo of it, if you've got a good enough camera or camera phone, or by using a scanner or even the Chisholm uh, printers, which do a, have a, a scan to USB option. So there's lots of different ways that you can do a scan signature. I've done mine um, just with my scanner here, I think, if I remember rightly, um, but I have used the ones at Chisholm as well. So firstly, I do actually have a little Word document created that I'm going to use and I'm going to add my signature here. So I start by going insert picture and we should be able to see my signature file somewhere. There's a whole lot of crap here. There it is. So MH signature, it's a PNG file. It's reasonably small, 372 by 258. So I'm just going to load that. There it is. And so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the background. Easy. Up here, remove background. I find it easier to remove the background while the image is large, just because of the very nature of how you remove backgrounds. So I'm just going to increase this out. And you can check it each time to see whether it's included everything that you want to include um, just by saving it and then undoing if you need to. So I can see what's been included and what hasn't. If you want to add areas, so the pink is actually being removed um, and it's a matter of working out which of these other bits you want to keep. So this button's here, mark area to keep, mark area to remove. I'm just going to add some additional areas to keep. So for example, that, that, if you do it with a good pen you actually get a much better thing. I think this was just done with a biro. But just keep adding, seeing how you go. Um, Add to keep, that looks like it's not there, and maybe a little bit of this tail down there. We'll see how much of it, so about there. That probably needs to be included. Yep, that's a phone message. I'm just ignoring it for the moment. So that probably looks reasonable, or maybe well, down there. So just to see what it looks like, I'm just going to go keep changes, and I'll be able to see. And look at that, that's pretty good. Um, if I looked at it then and saw that there was some bits missing, I could just go undo and um, re-add the little dots to, to keep extra. Um, but I'm happy enough with that, so that works out quite well. So that has actually got the background removed. I'm just going to, just to sort of show that, I'm just going to go wrap text and put in front of text. And see the difference between having a background and having a background removed? With the background removed, you can see this text through it. If the background wasn't removed, it would all be hidden. So now I can resize my image to what I would consider a reasonable size for a signature. See, so it doesn't matter that it goes over a little bit um, because it's a, with a transparent background, it gives you that flexibility. So I'm kind of happy with that. Another thing that you can do here is if you are happy with that with the background removed, you can actually save that back out. So if I right mouse button on that, and I go save as picture, I can save that out as a PNG file. Um, something like that, just so I know that the background's been removed. So then I can use it in other applications if I want to. So I'm just going to click save, just so that if I, I've got it there if I want to. Um, the next step is if I just unselect it, so you go, that looks pretty good. If I actually want to save that as like a signature block, I can highlight it like so, and under insert, 
And under Quick Parts, you see I've actually already done this before. <laughs> um, if I choose Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery, like so, um, I'll give it a name, I'll just call it um, New Signature Block, something like that. Gallery Quick Parts General, I'm happy with all the rest of it. Click OK. And now if I go under my Quick Parts, you'll see the one that I just added, which is the new signature block here. Um, and you can see previous ones that I've done just um, because I've this was my crazy chook lady one. Um, so if I now want to use it, I'm just going to just so you can see, I'm just going to file close that. I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to file new blank document. Type a letter like so. Whoops, that one didn't work too well. Anyway, you know what I mean. And if I now want to insert my signature, I just go Insert, Quick Parts, and go New Signature Block. And there it is. And that is all there is to it. So, there you go. Bye.